we will take calls based on order we receive so there's some people that text me already but i will take the first one who texts before you guys uh let's see Hello? Hello? Yes, who is with me? All right. Um, I, I'm a Christian, so... All right. How thank you. you. Yes. First of all, I want to thank the Lord Jesus Christ for giving us eternal life through his death, burial, and resurrection so that we might be saved. Let me do that. And also, I want to thank you for giving me the opportunity just to speak. I'm not going to take long. I just want to say just a few words and i'm going to leave can All i right. say that sure thank you sir yes um i've been watching your video and your previous videos and um i've seen that uh islam is an exposed cult which needs to be rebuked and it has to be told especially the followers that unless you accept the lord jesus christ who came into this world to die for our sins so that you and I may go to heaven. If that message is not preached to them, they are blinded to the gospel and they will deny the Lord and they will die and they will go to hell. That's number one. Number two, um, what you have also exposed in your videos is number one, the Muslims are hypocrites. And what you have just said, like during your own videos, is evident by what we see today in this world. Just recently, I was watching a video of, a, you know, you see, I've, you know, in, in TV, we always see, oh, Palestine, Palestine, what, Israel, you know, killing them, blah, blah, blah. So I want to research about what was happening because, you know, we in Africa, we don't listen much to those things. We listen to our, you know, to our concerns. But anyways, I was looking to what was happening in regards of Palestine and Israel and stuff. And when you dig deep to the history, you realize that the issue of Palestine and Israel, first of all, Palestine is not an Arab land. It is not. I was reading this uh, website talking about the Arab conquest of the Israel-Palestine land, which is Israel, by the way. That land is called the land of Israel. Before, before the Arabs came and conquered that land, that land originally belonged to the Jews. Of course, there was the occupation of the Greeks and the Romans because the Romans also conquered as the form of their empire. But originally, when you read the book of Genesis, chapter 11, I guess, no, chapter 12 or chapter 11, between those uh, chapters, God tells Abraham, Abraham, leave your kindred, leave your family, and go to the land which I will show you, which I will give unto you and unto your descendants. And that is the land where our Lord Jesus Christ was born, in the land of Judea, the land of Israel. That was until the Arabs came under, I don't know who's their leader, they came and they conquered that place. That was before we had any, it, there was no Arab identity in Israel ever since, until the Arabs came and conquered them, the Arab Muslims. So when they were exiled from their land, because it was from 70 AD up to 1949, when Israel was declared as a nation. That is over 1,300 years. Over 1,300 years, the Jews were outside of their land because they were being exiled. And when they come back, they want to make noise. They do not want to go back to the history. They do not want to go back to what happened, but they want to use their feelings. Why? Because for them, feelings is just what they have. It's what I realized. That's step number one. Number two, number two, they love talking about the issue of terrorism. And I thank you and the other uh, people who do this uh, 
researches about Islam being a tourist religion. I want to take an example. The um, the second Chechen war. Yeah, let us not let us not to go in details. I mean, don't don't focus in Chechen war and focus on Muhammad. He is the first terrorist and the biggest terrorist. Who care about yes. the rest? You see, because the Muslim they might say to you, Osama bin Laden is not a Muslim. He is a bad person. Blah 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 blah. Why we want to do with that? You know, the Quran says, I will install terror in their heart. This is the Quran. Muhammad says, I've been commanded to kill all mankind until and I, I i was victorious by terror so don't go there there's no you know focus in the head of the snake secondly yes. you mentioned israel there's no need to go and tell them from the bible from genesis because they will say to you we don't believe in it the quran chapter 5 verse number 21 says that allah taught moses and moses taught the people oh my people enter the holy land which allah has assigned into you and do not yes. t t turn your back from fighting for allah cause supposedly so you can be loser so according to the Quran, the Jews, they have a duty to kill every single Palestinian, not to leave one of them and to take the land for this is a land being given to them. You will notice the Quran never mentioned the word Palestine, never mentioned yes. the word Palestinian. And those who they are there, those are the Arab, as you say, do I agree? Omar al-Khattab, he, he, you know, uh, first Muhammad, he tried to occupy it. He made the, the attack of Tabuk and he failed. So then when he could not do it, Omar al-Khattab, came back again and he attacked and he was successful to take over Jerusalem. Yes. So they never entered that land. That land never spoke Arabic before. And even yes. long after nobody speak Arabic, the first one who started making the population speak Arabic, it was Abdul Malik ibn Marwan. And all the Muslims, they knew that. This is their history. They cannot deny it. And before yes. that, even in, even in Iraq, even in Syria, even in Israel, not a single person speak Arabic. Period. Even even in Morocco and Libya and Tunisia. Yeah, those are, are those Arabs. later. Those are not Arab, sure. But I, I mean, focus always in the head of the snake. Don't yes. go to Shishenia. I mean, we know that Shishenia is a country of terrorists, and they, that's what they do: drugs and you know, and Pakistan yes. and Afghanistan. But they will say to you, "This is not Islam." You know, they, they, you know, they can they can, <laughs> they can they can escape that by saying so. Focus yeah. in the in the terrorist Muhammad. Muhammad he killed the women. She is over the 86 years old. He cut her two pieces, the same as Al-Qaeda did and Al ISIS. Muhammad, he killed a man. He's very old. He's a Jewish guy. He sent an assassination to kill him. Muhammad, he killed hundreds of Jews. Muhammad, he slaughtered. He took women. He raped them. So, and Muhammad, he says, I've been victorious by terror. So why I need to quote Chechenian president? Sure. You know, I will quote Muhammad. Which one is valid for Islam? Muhammad for sure. The Muslim they cannot deny that uh, Muhammad is the prophet. So they can say everyone, every terrorist is not a Muslim. But the second you show them Muhammad saying, "I've been victorious by terror." Yeah, well they are. Yes. What they that's why if, you, if yeah. yes, uh, like sorry for the step. That's why if you go to places like Dubai, I don't think Dubai practices really Islam because. But there's no, there's no zero, there is zero Islam in Dubai. What Dubai? Yeah. Dubai is the land of the bikini and and vodka and uh, yeah. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, my friend, thank you for calling because there's more people trying to call. That's fine, sir. Thank God you. Thank you, you for calling. God. Thank you. Yes. Take care. Thank you. Uh, we have Abdullah Marzoug, the guy who posts in Arabic. Let us see. Hello? Mute YouTube. Mute YouTube. I have two sound. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead, Marzouk. Hello. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. هل تسمعني يا نعم أسمعك يا هذا هل تسمعني هذه هذه إزاعة البي بي سي هل تسمعني نعم أسمعك بوضوح نعم نعم حول أنت تقول أشياء خاطئة يا أيها الصديق العزيز ك حدثنا ولا حرج مثل ماذا مثل الحجر الأسود المقدس هذه هذا خ... أعلامك خاطئة علمك خاطئ لماذا تقبل الحجر الأسود يا مرذوق؟ التقبيل كاحترام آه هل, تح... هل... هل... هل لماذا تحترم الحجر الأسود؟ مثل ما أنتم تحترمون الصليب آه الصليب المسيح قتل على الصليب هل, هل... هل قتل محمد على الحجر الأسود؟ نعم 
هل قتل محمد على الحجر الأسود؟ لا الصليب حيث صليب المسيح فله مكانه لأن هذا الصليب هو أفضل أكبر ما قدمه المسيح هنا فلماذا أنت لماذا أنت تقبل الحجر الأسود؟ لكن أنتم تقبلون صور السيد لا نقبل أنا لا أقبل هذا ليس من المسيحية هذا أشخاص يتصرفون كما شاءوا رسولك قد قبل الحجر الأسود فهل هو إنسان بعيد عن الإيمان أو أنه يطبق الإيمان لم أفهمك يا تتكلم بسرعة تتكلم بسرعة وأتكلم ب... 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 ست... سوف أتكلم ببطء حينما قبل لا. رسولك الحجر الأسود لا. هل قبله وهو مخالف للدين أم أنه موافق للدين أكيد موافق للدين على أي أساس أثبت تفضل فهو من أزاع الدين من رسول وهو رسول الله ليس فهو... هناك ليس هناك بمشكلة لماذا قبل الحجر الأسود؟ ك... ك... فإن الحجر الأسود جاء من الجنة إذا أتاك حمار من الجنة هل تقبله؟ على الخدين آه و... ولماذا على على الردفين؟ ولماذا أنت تغار من الحمار؟ ولماذا على الردفين؟ لماذا لا تقبل الحمار في ردفيه؟ وسأقبله رتفيه وخ... آه. أوكي رتفيه مزوج دعني أترجم للناس لحظة so uh, uh, he said uh, uh, I am saying wrong stuff about the black stone and the reason the Islam the Muslim they kill they kiss the black stone because they respect the black stone so I said why you respect the stone because he said don't you Christian you know kiss the cross and respect the cross I said, well, if Jesus, he died in the cross, that is a reason for the Christian to have a value for the cross. Did your prophet Muhammad, was was he killed in the black stone? So why you kiss it? He says, and I asked him, when he did, he was doing that in agreement with the religion of Allah or against the teaching of Allah. He says, in total agreement. Marzu. حينما قبل محمد كحجر الأسود, ماذا حصل? حصلت عجوبة في السماء والأرض. ما هي؟ فمئات من الأشخاص أصبحوا مسلمين الصلاة والسلام عليه آه. مرزوق هل لديك كاميرا؟ لا هل أنت متأكد؟ نعم يعني أحس أنك تعصر نفسك عصرا أعصر نفسي؟ ما ماذا آه. تعجب في ذلك القول؟ طب اسمع اسمع رسولك قال أن من قبل الحجر الأسود أو لمسه واليمن والركن اليماني فإنه فإن الحجر الأسود والركن اليماني يماني يعني يمحي سنه يمحي يمحي ذنوبه ما رأيك؟ نعم نعم فأصبحوا مسالمين مع الله سبحانه وتعالى كيف يمحي الحجر الأسود الذنوب؟ إلا الحجر الحجر نفسه لا يمحي الذنوب إنما ما هو وراء الحجر؟ ما هو وراء الحجر؟ أفصح مثل ما عندكم الكاهن يمحي الذنوب الكاهن, الكاهن لا يمحي الذنوب في المسيحيه لا ليس الكاهن انما الصلاه نفسها هي التي تمحي الذنوب انت انت قد لمست حجرا فكيف لمس الحجر؟ الحديث يقول من لمس الحجر اليمن الحجر الاسود والركن اليماني هذه الحجاره فقد مسحت خطايا من يمسح خطايا بلمس الحجر هذا مثل مثل التقاليد مثل الرمز حينما سيد عيسى اغسل رجلين التلاميذ فان ما دخل هذا بهذا هذا حجر لا يضر عمر 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 قال هذا حجر لا يضر ولا ينفع نعم لا يضر ولا ينفع اذا اذا فان رسولك قد كذب لانه قال من مسح الحجر الاسود والركن اليماني فان خطاياه قد تمسح فاما ان يكون له فائده او لا فائده والفائده في الحديث تقول ان من مسح الحجر ولمس الحجر فقد مسحت خطاياه فكيف يكون عمر صادق ويكون محمد صادق؟ اننا نحن نتبع اقوال وافعال سيدنا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم ماذا يعني هذا؟ لم تجيب، أنا أسألك هل كذب عمر أم صدق عمر؟ إنه خاطئ. أنا 
guys I, I said to him your prophet he said that if you touch the black stone and the Yemeni corner your sin is going to be erased and then I said to him Omar he's Omar he said the caliphate that the black stone is useless neither harmless which means doesn't do anything it's it's useless it's harmless doesn't hurt doesn't benefit so I said to him so did Omar lie when he said because according to your prophet the black stone is useful Omar he said it's useless which one of them is lying he said that Omar is wrong he is mistaken okay now uh, like uh, Marzu هل كان عمر صادق أم كاذب خاطئ أنا لم أنا لم أسألك عن الخطأ لا تخطئ في الدين ليس هناك خطأ في الدين وهو من صحابة الرسول هل هل كذب أم صدق لا أنت محامي ومحامي جيد ولكن هل كذب هل كذب أم صدق أعطينا الجواب لك أنه خاطئ مثلما الله سبحانه وتعالى أليس أليس رسولك من قال من من نقل عني شيء لم أقوله فليتبوأ مقعده في في جهنم نعم وأنني لا أقول فكيف, فكيف يقول عمر أن هذا الحديث هذا الحديث وفقا للدين لماذا لم يقل له محمد أنت كذاب أنت مخطئ حين تذهب إلى إلى الآخرة ستراه في جهنم لأن هذا الخطأ خطأ آه. so let us, let us translate guys I ask him so did uh, uh, did Omar did lie or he is saying the truth? He said he is just saying mistake. Then I insist I want an answer. I'm not asking for a mistake. Did he lie or he told the truth when he said the black stone is useless? And now he agreed that when I you know, when I go to to uh, to hell, I will find Omar there. إذن أنت وافقت بأن عمر سوف يكون في جهنم. إننا نتكلم إذا إذا اتبعنا على كلام الرسول أنه خاطئ فأنه سيذهب إلى جهنم نعم هل أنت خاطئ؟ أكيد أنا غير صح إذا فسوف تذهب إلى جهنم أيضا أتمنى لا لكن أحاول أن لا أذهب هل إلى هل سوف يذهب محمد إلى جهنم؟ <تصفيق> العذر يا أخي هل سوف يذهب محمد إلى جهنم؟ هذا أنا أنا لست بالله واستغفر الله العظيم. أليس القرآن قال وما منكم إلا وردها؟ أنا لا أقدر أن أجاوب لك هذا الجواب. Guys, I'm asking him. Let me, let me. دعني أترجم. He said, is are you going to go to heaven to hell? He said maybe. I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not God. I said, what about Muhammad? He will go to hell. He's not sure. I said, well, isn't it the Quran says not even a single one of you, but he will enter hell? And then he said, I cannot answer this question. لماذا لا تستطيع أن تجيب وما منكم إلا وردها القرآن قد أجاب وما منكم إلا وردها ورد ورد الشيء أي أتاه وأقبل عليه ودخل فيه. إن لا لا أعلم لا أعلم. أنت لا تعلم القرآن يعلم القرآن يقول بأنه وليس منكم حتى شخص واحد إلا واردها جهنم not even a single one of you but he will enter hell فكيف ترد بقول لا أعلم هل, هل, هل عدم العلم من جهلك أم من جهل الرسول من جهلنا جميعا إذا رسولك جاهل طبعا كلنا جاهلين في هذه الحياة نعم, نعم أحسنت يا مرزوق أحسنت هل ربك جاهل أيضا أنا قلت كلنا جاهلين في هذه الحياة آه. رب ليس منا آه. آه. ربك ولكن المتكلم هو ربك فلماذا لا تعلم ربك قال وما منكم إلا واردها المتكلم هو الرسول المتكلم هو الرسول ليس الله ليس الله المتكلم إذا إذا القرآن من من صنع البشر وليس من صنع الله المتكلم هو من أتاه الوحي هل هو وحي أم أنه كلام الرسول فهو من من الوحي الذي أتى للرسول إذا المتكلم هو الله المتكلم ليس هو الله فإنما من هو الذي قال من الذي قال وما منكم إلا واردها 
ولما يهمك ان ذهبت الى جهنم هل تريد ان تصافح okay. let me translate let me translate things is getting funny those who translate arabic they will die with this video so listen guys so i said to him so your god allah he said not even a single one of you but he will go to hell not like here in translation says pass over it he will enter hell he says yes all of us we will go to hell what is the problem i said including muhammad he said including muhammad i said what about allah he said, no, Allah is not one of us. <laughs> I said, okay, how come Allah is saying not a single one of you will enter it? But you said to me, I do not know how to answer the question. Marzu. أنا ألف وأدور ألا أنت أنت لست أنت من تدور حول الكعبة سبع مرات؟ ثمانية تسع مرات فإذا فإذا فأنت إذا متعود على الدور على الدوران فدور معي يا أخي لماذا هل أخطأ الله حينما قال أن أن ليس منكم حتى بشخص واحد بل سوف يدخل جهنم اسمعني يا صديقي العزيز نعم. اسمع أرد عليك بطريقة ثانية نعم يا أبو حفص إذا أغرق الله سبحانه وتعالى أه. البشر جميعا أه. فقال لنوح أه. أنا أخطأت ولا يجوز مني أن أعيد نفس الخطأ ف... ففي المستقبل أين, سأ... أين, أين نجد هذا الكلام الذي قلت لي نعم العهد القديم هل أنت تؤمن بالعهد القديم؟ أنا أؤمن بجميع الأديان. آه هل أنت هندو؟ لا أؤمن هل... بجميع الأديان السماوية. السماوية هل هل الإسلام من دين سماوي؟ نعم فإنه okay. دين سماوي. Hmm. Let me translate. Hmm. Guys, he is saying that you are a person who asks questions and you go around it in circle. So I said to him, don't you Muslim, you go seven times around the Kaaba? Go with me. Let us circle together. He is trying to avoid answering the question and then. Now he is saying that uh, uh, Noah, he said, don't make that mistake again when the flood happened. And I said, where do you get this from? He said, from the Old Testament. I said, do you believe in it? He said, I believe in all religion. I said, do you believe in Hindus? He said, no. He said, I believe in, in the sky heavenly religions. So I'm asking him, is Islam is a heavenly religion? So, Marzu, هل الإسلام دينه سماوي? الإسلام نعم أتى من السماء أتى من الله هل الله في السماء؟ نعم في أي سماء؟ هل نظرت إلى الفوق؟ لم أنظر إلى فوق لا أنا أنظر إلى تحت يمكن أن تنظر إلى تحت وهل هناك فوق وهناك تحت؟ والشمال والجنوب والغرب ليس وما... هناك فوق ولا تحت أنت الآن إن كنت في النهار تعتقد ان ما فوقك فوقك بت وما فوقك هو تحت في 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 ساعات اخرى من الليل سوف تصبح تحتك ما هو ما هو ما هو فوقك الان هو تحتك غدا اسمع كيف يكون الاسلام دين سماوي وهو يعلم الزنا والفحشاء وحتى اللواط اللواط نعم so let me translate. I'm saying to him how Islam is. He says Allah is up. I said we're up. What is up now is going to be down later in a few hours. So I said to him how Islam is a heavenly religion, uh, like the same as Abrahamic religion. If your God Allah, he taught he te teach uh, uh, fornication and teach uh, even uh, loudness and uh, uh, homosexuality. He said homosexuality. Where is that? Okay, is it? أليس أليس رسولك من قال أنه في الجنة رسول ليس فيه لا بيع ولا شراء إلا صور النساء والرجال هذا من 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 كلام من 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 أفكار الذي تتبع الإمرأة حين تستشهد وهناك يوجد غلمان ورجال هل فهمت علي؟ لم أفهم هل تكلمت بالعربية؟ 
نعم اي لغه هذا انا ما بفهم شيء قاعد ها قاعد قاعد وات نساء اي نساء انا اسالك هل وعدك الرسول في الجنه بان هناك سوق فيه ليس فيه بيع ولا شراء الا صور النساء والرجال فاذا اشتهى الرجل الصوره دخل فيها نعم صوره للنساء صوره لا لا صور للرجال والنساء صور للرجال من صور واذا من اشتهى صور موجوده ان كانت امراه فتشتهي لا لا, لا. اوكي ليت مي ترانسليت جايز اي سيد تو هيم از ات يور برايفت هي سايز ذات ان هيفن ذير از ا ماركت where there's no buying nor selling except images of men and women and if a man he uh, like an image to have sex with it he enter it he says uh, yeah it says but it doesn't say uh, uh, um, men only if a woman she like a, a picture she enter it and she can have sex with it marzuk هذا هو الحديث امامك وهو يقول هذا بالعربيه ان في الجنه لسوقا لا فيه شراء ولا بيع إلا الصور من الرجال والنساء فإذا اشتهى الرجل صورة دخل فيها نعم من, من الزبون رجل نعم نعم كيف يشتهي الرجل صورة للرجل آه هذا الكلام منذ ألوف السنوات آه لا يتكلمون عن المرأة نسبة إلى الرجل جايز آه لتمي ترانسليت سو جايز أي سيد واي يور بروفيت سين In the beginning, he denied. He said this is not true, and now he's saying it says here in Arabic. You can read it that those are images of men and women. If the man he liked the image, he go inside it and he if it. He said yes, but in the old days, they talk about like men are like women. What the heck does that mean? I have no idea. Marzuk, في 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 تاريخ سابق أيام الرسول هل كانت النساء رجال والرجال نساء؟ لا لا تفهمني جيدا وضح اوضح اوضح اقول لك اعذرني يا اعذرني يا امير انا واقول لك ان هذا الكلام منذ 2000 سنه واكثر هذا القلم من منذ ابد الزمان وحيث النساء لم يكونوا في المستوى الذي نقدر ان نتقبلهم انهم يشتهون الرجال. اه ف... اذا فان رسولك قد كذب علينا فهو لم يتكلم عن الجنه لان الجنه سوف تحصل في المستقبل. ما لن تفهمني اعذرني لا فهمتك فهمت انت قلت ان النساء في ذلك الزمان لا, لا ليس من المعقول ان نقول انهم يشتهون الرجال. نعم انه عيب ان نتكلم عن النساء هذا هذا كلام غير صحيح رسولك قال في الحديث ان للرجل شهوه وللمراه ماءة شهوه ماءة شهوه ماء ماذا تقول انت نعم يا هذا let me translate so guys i said to him how your prophet he says that he said at that time it's not right to say women they have desire so he said only men will enter the pictures but in fact women they like that too but because at that time is not suitable i said this is false because he said that customers are only men and he said at that time but i said to him but this is about the heaven time in the future so if it was not a good thing to say at that time The Prophet is not promising us something for that time. He is promising us for the future, for this about heaven. Same time, uh, he said that women didn't have a desire like the man. I said, this is false. You're a Prophet, he says, the man have one desire, the women, they have a hundred. Marzouk, هل للرجل شهوة واحدة وللنساء شهوات؟ هل استطيع ان اسالك انا سؤال لقد سالتني كثير من الاسئله هل تغير ف... الموضوع يا هذا لا لا, لا ابدا ابدا اوكي بس لقد... لقد انا ازعجني كلامك عن الدين الاسلام أه. وعن س... النبي محمد اريد ان افهم منك هل لديك كره لهذا الدين ولسيدنا محمد صلى الله عليه اوكي Let me translate what you said. 
before we continue so guys he didn't want to answer this question about women they have a lot of desire according to his prophet because now he don't like it so he said to me i have a question because you asked me many questions time for me to ask you a question do you hate islam and you hate our prophet my friend uh هل انت ضد الكره طبعا هل انت ضد العداوه هل هي هل العداوه من الشيطان العداوه هي الشيطان العداوه هي الشيطان صدقت يا هذا اذا كيف تفسر ان الرسول في قرانه قال ان الله سوف يضع العداوه والكره والبغضاء بين المسيحيين فهذا فعل صار اصبح صحيح اذا 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 ربك وهو هو شيطان الرب ليس الشيطان انت من قلت انت من ما. قلت اسالتك لح... من من لحظه سالتك هل العداوه من الشيطان والكره من لكن... الشيطان قلت نعم صحيح لكنك لم تجاوبني على سؤالي من انا الأسئلة. انا اجيبك الان انا اجيبك ما. انت قلت ان العداوه من الشيطان والكره من الشيطان هل 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 صحيح انك قلت هذا ام تنكر هذا غير هذا هذا كلام هذا غير مقبول انت سأل... قلت هل قلت ام لم تقل هل قلت أن العداوة هذا مسجل هذا الحديث مسجل هل قلت أن العداوة والكره من الشيطان نعم أم لا طبعا أوكي. بس طبعا طبعا ممتاز إذا إلهك الله في سورة المائدة قال إنه سوف يزرع البغضاء والعداوة في صدور النصارى حتى يوم الدين هو أنت قلت هذا كلام صحيح و... وإلهك هو الذي قال اسمع. إنني إنني إله إنني إله إله أغار ولا ولا ولكني لا أريد أن أن قومي يعبدون غير إله. Okay, so uh, uh, مرزوق is he lost his oil, he is out of oil. So listen, مرزوق. ما دخل هذا بهذا؟ اسمع. هل الله هو الشيطان أم أنه إله؟ So when my God he says he is jealous, well he don't allow anyone to worship. Uh, someone beside him because he is the one who created us why you want to go worship somebody else so this has nothing to do with our topic i'm asking you i, I said to you why you said uh, are, do you hate islam i said to you are you against hate you said yes are you against enmity you said hate i said so why allah wanna spread hate and enmity between the christians is it shaitan is the one who spread enmity you said yes and now i'm asking you why allah if allah is not shaitan why he spread enmity he don't want to talk about it he want to answer marzu لماذا الله يلعب دور الشيطان؟ أهو شيطان لعين؟ لماذا لماذا يزرع البغض والعداوة بين الناس؟ أخي العزيز إن أجبتني أنت فذا أنا مستعد أن أجبك أنا أجبتك ربنا ربنا رب غيور لأنه يحبنا الغير 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 من الحب هو يحب هو يحبنا فلماذا نترك نتركه ونذهب الى الشياطين لايك رسولك لماذا لماذا لا تجيب كيف يكون ربك الها وهو شيطان مريد سيدي انت لم تجبني على سؤالي لك سالتك هل لديك بغض او كره للدين الاسلامي دين ش... انا انا اجيب دين الاسلام دين شيطاني فنعم انا ابغض الاسلام لانه شيطاني والدليل امامك فهو دين ي... ي... ينشر البغضاء بين الناس لا استطيع ان أت... ان 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 اتجادل معك في هذا الموضوع لماذا لأن... لماذا لا تستطيع let me translate guys he said to me i ask you a question i want an answer do you hate Islam? I said, yes, I hate Islam. I hate it because Islam is a hateful religion, spreading hate between mankind and the verse in the front of you. And he's even targeting the Christians. So now he's saying, I cannot talk about this topic with you. Marzuk, why do you want to talk about this problem? No, I don't want to talk about it. I want to say that I don't want to with you on this topic. أنا لا حسنا أنا لا إذن لا فإن فإن الله شيطان أنا من من أزرع بين البشر الكره والبغض بغ 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 الكره فهذا من الشيطان نعم هذا هذا إذن 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 الله هو شيطان 
ان الله شيطان ان اذا هو الذي يزرع هذا الكره بالبشر نعم ممتاز ذات مي ذات مي اداني اترجم مرزو وافق معي بان if الله هو الذي سوري I'm translating English and Arabic now. Uh, he agreed that if this is true, and he agreed and he said this is true, there, therefore shit Allah must be shaitan. So he said, yes, Allah is shaitan then, because if he is the one, he really spread hatred between mankind. Obviously, he is shaitan. So Marzouk now, he agreed that Allah is shaitan. Shukran, ya akhil aziz Marzouk, li'annaka wafaq bi'anna Allah is shaitan. Hal farihtu l'an? أنا فرح بأنك أصبحت متعلم وواعٍ. هناك نسبة عالية جدا من المسلمين يا أخي الذين أعينهم مفتوحة إلى الحقيقة. إذا لماذا؟ إذا لماذا كنت تختلف معي والآن أراك موافق؟ لم أختلف معك. أنت لا ت... لكنك لا تفهم وجهة نظري. وما, وأنا... وما هي وجهة نظرك؟ تفضل. لا, لا ليست وجهة نظري. انني كنت اريد ان اعلم لماذا هل هذا لماذا لديك كره شخصي الى المسلمين انا لا اكره المسلمين المسيح قال احب اعداءكم باركوا لاعينيكم انا لا هل سمعتني اقول اكره المسلمين هذا ما كن صادقا لا. كن صادقا هل سمعتني اقول اني اكره المسلمين انا انا لم اقول هذا الكلام لا لا لم تقول انا لم اسمعك انا أريد... اتكلم عن كتاب يدعي صاحبه انه كتاب من عند الله وانا افضحه فكيف لا. هذا يكون كره للمسلمين؟ كره لازم. المسلمين المسلم هم من يكرهون المسلم أخ... المسلم قال له محمده لا تتخذوا اليهود والنصارى اولياء صحيح؟ اخي العزيز اريد ان اقول لك شيئا م. انا انا أه 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 وكثير و... و... من المسلمين لقد تغيرنا ولن نقبل بهذه الاراء القديمه العدائيه الكراهيه لا نقبل بها ممتاز لا دعني اترجم مرزوق سين ذات المسلمين they are changing and they are not the same so they don't, they don't accept such a thing teaching hatred no more so he was wondering he said I did not really disagree with you which means he agreed with me about what I'm saying but he wanted to know why I hate Muslims. So I said to him, I never said I hate Muslims. Even my Lord Jesus, he said, love your enemy and bless them. So I, how I will hate them. So, and then, he's, uh, then he said, well, you need to know that more and more Muslims, they are opening their eyes and they are seeing and they don't agree with this hatred in the book. So, ya marzu, إذا كان الكتاب كتاب يعلم الكره إذا وأنت وافقت فإذا هو كتاب من الشيطان. هذا الكلام صحيح انني لا اقول لا اذا دعني دعني اترجم سالت مرزو اي اس مرزو واي سو يو اجري وذ مي ذات ذيس از ا بوك فروم شيطان هي سيد يس اي اجري وذ يو اتس فروم شيطان تفضل يا مرزو اننا راينا هذا الكتاب الذي اوصل بالانسانيه الى البغض والكراهيه بواسطه عملاء الشيطان الذين اعلامهم السوداء أنت تعلم عن من أن أتكلم؟ أما تتكلم؟ عن هؤلاء الأقوام من الداعش وقاعدة وهذول المجرمين هل القرآن هو من صنيع الداعش؟ لكن من يصنعهم اليابانيين؟ ليس القرآن من رسولك أنت من قلت أن القرآن وحي نعم أنت وحي. من قلت أن القرآن وحي هل هو كان وحي من داعش أم أنه وحي من الله؟ يا من يا يا صديقي العزيز من اين اتى هذا الوحي؟ اتى من 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 يوحي بالضغط والكراهيه من من؟ من الشيطان من الشيطان اذا اوكي ليت مي ترانسليت جايز هي سيد تو مي ذوز ثينجز ذا ون هو براكتس ذوز ثينجز از لايك بيبول لايك داعش ايسيس يو نو القاعده اتسترا But I said, well, you know, but isn't it, this is the Quran? This is the Quran. Is the Quran is the one who inspired the, the Quran to Muhammad? Is Daesh is the one? Is ISIS is the one who made the Quran? He said, no, it is the, the one who inspired that is the one who teach hate. I said, who? He said, Satan again. Okay. So let us go now. Uh, 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 نعم وما بهذا هذه 
هذه ليست تجربه جديده ان معلومه جديده فه ف... هل انت ف... هل انت فعلا مسلم ام انك هل انت هل انا مسلم لكنني لست مسلم من هذه العقيده لا اذا هل ب... هل بامكانك ان تقول الشهاده نعم تفضل ولما تريدني ان اقولها لكي اتاكد انك مسلم بعد كل حديث الان وانت لا ت... ماذا ماذا سوف تخسر ان قلت الشهاده قل الشهاده هل انت مسلم فعلا ام غير مسلم لا اقول الشهاده لماذا لانه لانني لست من المؤمنين بهذا الشيء اذا اذا انت 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 قد تركت الاسلام انني اترك الاسلام نعم So guys, I ask him, so if you are a Muslim, can you say Shahada for us? He said, no, I will not say it. I said, why you will not say it? Uh, uh, you know, he refused to say it. So I said, did you leave Islam? He said, yes, I, I'm, I'm leaving Islam. So did you decide to leave Islam today or from before? هل أنت تركت الإسلام اليوم أم في السابق؟ إنني أترك الإسلام منذ سنة وأنا وأكثر من سنة ونيف. He left Islam for more than a year from now. long time ago so and the direct islam قبل ان تستمع اليك صحيح استمعت اليك في 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 الزمن ولكنني لم لم احب البرنامج فسمعت اشياء كثيره ولم افهم اشياء كثيره ولكني عندما احضر الاخبار واتبع الاجواء السياسيه العالميه والكره فقررت ان هذا الدين ليس لي Danny Utarjim, Danny Utarjim. So I, I ask him, did you uh, leave Islam because of hearing me or not hearing me? He says, no, I heard you before, but I did not stay long uh, time listening to you because I did not like what you say and I did not understand some of what you say. Uh, and then he says, and I start understanding that Islam is evil because the news I hear and everything I hear about Islam. Tafadal, ya Marzul. Takallam. أرفض أن أتبع هكذا دين يريد أن يبشر الناس بالكره والبغض. ممتاز. هو هو he says he refused to follow such a religion teaching hatred and enmity between people. وقد 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 ابتدأت أن أقرأ قليلا من الإنجيل لكي أن أفهم ماذا ماذا يتكلم هذا الدين. ووجدت ان ان سيدنا عيسى الصلاه والسلام عليه فان هذا هذا القول قول محبه غفران ليس كره. He said that he started reading the gospel and he found that the teaching of, of, the, of the Messiah, peace be upon him, as he say, is a teaching of love and forgiveness, which he liked. تفضل فلم اجد في الانجيل هل هناك اي شيء في الانجيل عن المسيح يتزوج فتاه عمرها لا يناهض العمر الست سنوات مم. هو يقول لم اجد في الانجيل اي شيء سوري ام ترانسليتين عربي هي سيد اي ديد نوت فايند اني ثين ان ذا جوسبل اباوت جيسس ماريين ا تشايلد شي از 6 ييرز اولد بت لايك يو نو لايك وات محمد ديد سو مرزوق هل أنت أصبحت مؤمن بالمسيحية أو أم أنك جست معجب بالمسيح؟ إنني معجب ومحترم ومحب للمسيح أنا لست مسيحيا ولا لا أظن أنني مستحق بهذا الدين وأنا لا أقول هذا لأنك مسيحي فلأنني أنا مقتنع بأن هذا الدين دين الحب فليس في الكتاب كراهية أما في القرآن فيوجد جميع الكراهيات No. So he said, I am not a Christian, and he think he don't think he deserves to be a Christian. But he is not saying that to me because I'm a Christian. He believed that the Messiah deserves respect, and uh, he, he loved the Messiah, the way, the, the things he say. Uh, yeah, Marzu, uh, no. هل, uh, هل تريد أن أريد أن أتشكرك ل, 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 لقبولي في هذا البرنامج الذي ينور الناس ويعطيهم الحقيقة أهلا وسهلا يا ليت لنا معلوماتك التي أنت عندك إياها لكي أن نكمل في هذه الرسالة 
باركك الله واطال من عمرك بالصحه والسعاده شكرا يا مرزوق السلام عليكم وعليكم السلام Yeah, he said, may Allah bless me. So he's still believe in Allah. I don't believe in Allah. But anyway, this is how he wanted to express himself. So he said, thank you very much for having me. And I'm thankful for the information you share. Um, you know, etc. Well, I don't know. I thought he is going to debate me and argue with me. It turned to be that the guy agreeing that Muhammad is a fraud. Uh, all right. Somebody is asking me a question. I am a Christian. A question about the name of Allah in Arabic, Bible. If we can speak about that, for sure, no problem. The answer is very simple. This is a translation, and it's a false translation. This is, you know, even the translation of the Arabic, by the way, Arabic Bible. If you go and you see it, you will see that the one who shared in the translation even was Muslims. So, uh, this is a false translation any uh, any translation like you know the muslim here they say the word the christian you see in the screen it says a christian but in the quran there is no word for a christian except nasara and we don't accept to be called nasara but the muslim translation say christians so same as those who they translated the uh, the gospel into arabic they use the word allah instead of using the word god that is a false translation you ask them why they said well those Arab you know we are Arab we live in between the Arab and if we say different word they will think we worship different God and you know that will cause problems so they are doing taqiyya this is hypocrisy and this is false and we don't believe in such a garbage if you go and the op if you open the Aramaic book the Hebrew book the Greek book you will not see anything so the word Allah appear only for in a Christian translation for the Bible in the, in a country, the majority of it is Muslims. That is the effect of terror. Uh, we don't believe in Allah, and Allah is different. A different God, you know. You ask the Muslims, "Is Allah is a spirit?" They would say, "No." Well, my God, our is a spirit, so we don't have the same God. We have the same God. We will have the same nature. Do the God of Islam have a son? The answer no. So your God cannot be my God. Okay, is your God Allah? Can, can Allah be a man? No, he cannot. Well, he cannot be God then. He cannot be my God in the same time. Uh, their God have zero ethic. He have minus zero, minus 100 zero ethic. He teach fornication. He teach killing. He teach the children a rapist. Uh, he, he teach uh, uh, stealing, uh, lying. When Jesus, he said, the father of all lies is Satan. So we don't have the same God. So the Muslim, when they hijack some names and they add them in their books, it's just for you. However, if somebody is a Christian and he use a false translation, that is his sin. This is not from the Bible. We don't believe in Allah and Allah has nothing to do with us. Allah is two words, Al and La. La is the one God. As simple as that. If you go in the Quran, chapter 1, verse number 2, it says, Alhamdulillah. Even the Quran get Allah busted. If you look at this word here, and you look at this word here, you will notice they are not the same. Even if don't you speak Arabic. Did you notice what is missing? This letter here, the first letter, I did not highlight it. Cannot be found here. Do you see it? If Allah is the name of the God of Muhammad, you cannot take any letter out of the name. Name is a name. You don't add words. You don't take words. You don't add letters. You don't take letters. So when you say Messiah, Messiah, when you say the Messiah, the is not part of the name. Correct? The Messiah is not part of the name. So we can say Messiah. We can say the Messiah. Allah is two word. So here the Quran says in the verse number two, Alhamdulillah, li, lah. You ask anyone who speak Arabic what li mean? 
Lee means to. Lee, oh, let's switch to our English. Lee is equal to two. So thanks to Allah. Okay, wonderful. So li is to what is left of the word? La. That is the name of their God. Thanks to La. Go right now and search what the word La is. It is the moon God. It's not something we can change history. I mean, this is, exists for thousands of years before Muhammad he came to exist. So no way we can go and do editing for uh, history just to make it fit with our, uh, let us say, agenda. If you go to the Quran, this God, he had many names. The same God, La, he had many names. You go to chapter 36, verse number one. It says, Ya Sin. Ya Sin. Thirty-six or thirty-six? Here we go. Ya sin, ya sin. Sin is a word now used today. Is used as a sin. But what sin origin is? When people they become a Christians. In the beginning, some of them they still practice paganism. Yet they converted to Christianity, but because paganism in their roots, in their blood, they are doing it for a long time. So the Christian, they say to the pagan who just became a Christian, this is sin, don't do it. This is sin. What they meant by that? This is from the moon god religion. This is pagan. If you go right now and search for the word sin, you will find that sin is the moon god. And the word ya yeah is a word meaning god. We are not making things up. Sin is the god of the Babylonian area, which is the moon god. The same as Lah. Do you see it? And not only that, you will see that this god, he have a crescent moon in the top of him. One of the other names of the god Sin or the god La is Nana, which is also called Sin. Ya Sin. The Muslim they say, it's a miracle, brother. Nobody knows what they mean, save Allah. And this is telling you that this is not an Arabic word and the Mohammedan they have no idea how to explain it. And look how funny they, what they say. This is letter is a miracle, brother. How letter is a miracle? Okay, I will make a miracle now. Foo, foo. Yeah, fee, fee. But those letters are exist already. So what is the miracle in it? Tra, tra. Be, be. You, you. But because it is a stolen name from different culture, different religion, they do not know what it is. Yeah, seen. How stupid is this garbage called? How far stupidity can go? Unlimited. All right, guys, I think we have a good time today. We don't see any Muslims trying to contact us. Uh, so I will log off my Skype. Look at the commentary. Okay, I will do. Guys, Ahmad, he says to me, see, Ahmad, the poor Ahmad, he tried to fix it. He make it more blind. Ahmad, are you sure you want me to look at the interpretation of the verse by the companions?
I'm trying to save you, Ahmed, because if I show you, you will see that they agree with me. This is from the Aramaic language, have nothing to do with Islam. And those are stupid, they are making up a meaning. So let us go and see what it's mean according to the interpretation. Chapter 36, according to Ahmad, he said, let us read the interpretation, please, no problem. Chapter 36, verse number one. And now Ahmad, he will be sorry. You will see it says it clearly. This is Aramaic. This is Aramaic. This is Aramaic, Syriac language. Do you see it? Who said that? Ibn Abbas. Do Ibn Abbas speak Syriac? No. So how he can know the meaning? So he says, oh human. But in Syriac, this does not exist. So they confirm that this is a Syriac language. And this is what the language of people of Iraq, they speak. Ya Sin. It is nothing but a Syriac language. And the Quran says that this is a pure Arabic. I mean, do you see the stupidity of this religion? How this book says this is a pure Arabic word, book. Pure. There's no crock in it. All those words saying the Quran is Arabic, Arabic. Here even it says in chapter 6, verse 16, verse 103, this is a clear Arabic. And not only that, it says chapter 20, verse number 113, very pure Arabic. In chapter 26, verse 195, it says very strong Arabic. In chapter uh, 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 39, verse number 28, very pure Arabic and there's no foreign language in it. And then your scholars, they say this is Syriac. Why your God was speaking to the Syriac? <laughs> so Ahmed, why you did that to yourself, Ahmed? You asked me to show you what the scholars, they say. Every scholar, he give you different interpretation because obviously it's a stupid book. And the funny is, Yesterday we were playing a video of Sheikh Omran. He says the Quran, the Quran explain itself. The Quran explain itself. So what you have seen mean? Abdul is asking who wrote the Bible? Allah. According to your God, Allah. Allah, he sent the Bible written to, to Jesus. Are you against your God now? This is your city God. He says, we send down the Injil. A Muslim is asking question. He played dumb now, you know, like what? Who wrote the gospel, huh? Who wrote the gospel? Who wrote the Quran? Who wrote the Quran? Uthman, he burned all the other Quran. That's been many Quran. So now you have a Quran of Uthman. Where's the Quran of Muhammad? Actually, even the Quran of Uthman, you don't have it. You have zero page of it. Chapter 3, verse number 3, it says, We send down to you, Muhammad, the truth, confirming the book which is with them. What the heck? With between their hands. So what does that mean? I'm sound tired? Oh, okay. Thank you for your concern. Oh. And here I will show you the genius Muhammad, how genius he is. Oh, people of the scriptures. So the Muslim, they keep saying to us, you have no scriptures. Your book is corrupt. And then the stupid Muhammad, he keep calling us in his book, the people of the book. I mean, how we don't have a book? What we are people of the book? Imagine you say to Kojak, the guy with the hair. Oh, people of the scriptures, why you do argue about Abraham? While the Torah and the Gospel were not revealed, enter after him. Like, what the heck? Here you see that Muhammad is mentally stupid. He is saying to the Christian and the Jews, you cannot argue if you came after. Do you see it? 
Muhammad, he gave us a logic, which is a priceless logic. The one who come at the end, he cannot debate with the one who came before. So why you argue about Abraham when your book came long after? But isn't it his book who came at the end? The correct word for God. There's many words. They are not, they are not even, you see, Arabic, Arabic is not Arabic. Arabic is a collection of languages. So in the Quran, there is many words used in the gospel and should be used. As an example, Rab. Don't you say Rabbi? Rabbi, this is the word Rab. Rab mean God. My God, Rabbi. When you see the Jews, they speak about God, they use many words, Adonai, Shaddadi. There's tons of words. So, Arabic Christian, they should not allow any book using the word Allah in their churches. But this is an extremely hard mission to accomplish it because they live there for hundreds of years using that word. How you can make them switch? That need like a government offer, like a government who is a Christian government says, from now on, this book is not valid. We will not allow it to be in the in the floor. And need the decent uh, leaders who dare to stand against Muslim and say, we will not accept to use this word no more. But because they have fear from the terrorism of Islam, you see, in 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 Malaysia, the the the, the Muslims. They make the case against the Christians and the court judge that Christians from now on, they cannot use the word Allah for this is not their God. This is from the Library of the Congress. I heard that some they, they have an appeal and they, you know, I, I don't know even why even the Christian there, they wanted to use it. That is a very stupid decision. But they made them, they forbid them from using that word for this is the, the, the this, not, this is not for non-Muslim. And I agree with them. Even if you are using it to refer for God, Allah is not your God. You have nothing to do with it. There's a million words you can use in the language for the word God. But because many of those who they are priests today in the Middle East, they are hypocrite. Like every, like Muhammad, they are doing business. They don't want to cause trouble. They think that this is the wise thing to do. I mean, we say Allah, but we don't mean the God of the Muslim. But this is taqiyya, this is hypocrisy. Here I see that in the year 21, after the Muslim, they forbid the Christians in Malaysia to use that word for many years. In the year 21, it says here, that Malaysian court overturned ban on use Allah by Muslim. And look what happened. The people, the, 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 the real Muslims in Malaysia, the one who support ISIS, Al-Qaeda, etc., they found that the Christians, maybe they are using the word Allah, and that will make Islam or Muslims easy to accept Christianity like we believe in Allah so he is not feeling like he is changing God he is just changing some essence of God but this is not a true Allah is not our God Allah is Satan Allah is a satanic pagan God 
So because they notice a lot of people are converting to Christianity, so now they say to themselves, maybe because they are using the word Allah in their churches, that make the word is like their, their, their belief is more appealing. So let us forbid them from using it. And they did. And then I don't know, it says here, like in the year 21, March 10, 21, as it says in the news here, that the court, uh, like the, uh, somebody made an appeal, overturned the ban of using the word Allah. For me, if you ask me, I wish they never did. I wish they banned it forever from all Arab Christian or any Christian who live in Muslim country. I encourage it actually. Um, any other question? You know, name is not really important much because you see, even when God is speaking in the Bible, he is not really giving a name. But this is not the right thing to do, especially you know that this word does not mean really God. It is a name of the pagan God. So imagine like you call your God Satan and you say, oh, I mean God. And that's not right. So the excuse of what I meant, oh, I don't mean the God of Muhammad, I mean my God. So if your God is not the God of Muhammad, how they, why, why you have the same name? That is a false act. Because Islam is a terrorism religion, so those Middle Eastern, they suffer a lot. You know, I understand. I mean, I, I'm coming from there. A lot of terrorism, a lot of killing, a lot of humiliation, a lot. So they said, okay, we use the word Allah, that will make the Muslims see at least when we pray, we pray to Allah. They will leave, maybe they will leave us alone. But did it work? Did they leave you alone? Yeah, there is some authentic uh, Arabic translation, but I don't know where to find you. The, I, I used to have actually uh, uh, a link for it. Maybe I will try to find it. There's a couple of them actually, not only one. I will try to find it and publish it myself. And remember, even if the Muslim, they change the name of their God and they call him the Messiah, that still is not our God. Do we agree? People, do we agree? Changing the name of their God will not make our God their God. Like here we go, it says the God of Abraham. But we know that this is a lie. They are not talking the same God. So even if the Muslim, they change the name of their God and they stop calling him Allah, they call him Yahweh or they call him Elohim. Still, he is not our God. We don't follow a name. We follow a person. Isn't it the Messiah? He says, be aware of false messiahs. So there's many, they will come and they will say, I'm the Messiah. If you are a fool person who follow a name, anyone he say I'm Messiah you follow him. Correct? But we don't follow a name. The Lord he said, from their fruits you shall know them. And we know our Lord from his fruit, not from his name. Because anyone can use a name. Talk about Salma Rushdie. We spoke about him yesterday. And, you know, we deliver our message to the Muslims. Here we go. You try to intimidate, you try to kill. We will never stop. Actually, you make us more uh, firm in our stand and we will fight even harder against your garbage Muhammad cult. And now more people will buy his books. And the one, the new generation do not know this guy, by the way, because his story is old. 
and now more people they will start buying his book so they thought people will forget about it he will go you just you just resurrect his book again <laughs> oh boy Uh, the funny by the way it says here in the news that the one who attacked uh, Salman Rushdie is he said he is not a pleaded he's pleaded not guilty for attempted murder he's pleaded not guilty the filthy son of Muta he stand on the stage he have a knife in his hand he stabbed the guy in his neck in his face in his belly and then he pleaded not guilty you see how they use the system of the western stupid government I mean the guy who is in the stage recorded by cameras bleeded not guilty what does that mean <laughs> ah stupid western system You know, the, the Western system in the old days, in the time of the cowboy, was a thousand times better than now. You know, a person, he commit a crime, they hang him. That's it. I mean, there's a, there's a thousand people, they saw the crime. And now pleaded not guilty? <laughs> yeah. Uh... Yeah, they are coward. You know you, how you attack a child, you know someone he is 75, 76. But his Muhammad, he's well, he's more coward. Abu Rafi was way older than this guy. I think he was 86, 87. And Muhammad he sent a man to assassinate him in his back. He stabbed him in his back. Um Qirfa, Muhammad he cut her two pieces when she is alive, and she is over the age of 80, close to 90, and she is a woman. So don't be surprised. This is religion of the devil. This is the religion of the devil. Uh, and now they will start saying this guy is suffering from mental problem. Islam is not like that. You know, uh, we know we know the game of the liberals. Atheists, they love the devil, Islam. You know, one day in Germany, this is a few years ago, I don't know which year, you can remind me. Uh, a fire sat, set in a, in a camp, a refugee camp. The newspapers start talking about the Nazi, the fascist, the conservative Christians, the, you know, the, the terrorism of fascism is coming back, blah, 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 a million articles around the world in many languages, you know, and then they found that the guy who burned the place was a Syrian refugee. The second they discovered that he is a Syrian refugee, they start saying he is suffering from a lot of pressure. Suddenly they execute, all the executions in the world, they are there. A day before, it was the fascist, the Nazi, the ugly, the hatred, the Islamophobic. The same story about, if you remember, we made a video about it a few days ago. Four Muslims got killed. Biden, he said, he made a, a speech. We stand with the Muslims in that town. Those things are not allowed in USA. A few days after, we discovered that the one who killed the four Muslims, he is a Muslim. Did Biden came out to say anything? Nothing. So they accuse Islamophobic. What Islamophobic? It, Islam is a phobia. And now is the same. Imagine if the one who is in the stage and he was killed, he killed by a Christian. Washington Post, New York Times, NBC, CBC, all the garbage, they will eat you alive. We have killing 
and we have a crimes in USA every day, everywhere. So what if they are for Muslims? And they are not like for Muslims getting killed in the same day. Just because they are Muslims, suddenly now if there's a phobia and Islamic you know, and, and hate crime, so what about the Christians who get killed every day? Should we accuse people of hate crime too? How we know that the one who is killing them not Muslims? Or maybe atheists? <laughs> what the point of saying Muslims? Why you say in the title Muslims? Because they want to use it for their propaganda. And they show you people are crying. Because only Muslims cry. Christians don't, you know. Every day we have a Christian slaughter in Nigeria. Slaughtered in Somalia, slaughtered in Sudan, slaughtered in Iraq. Nobody speak about hate crime. What about the Christian in Pakistan? Biden condemned the hateful attack in four Muslims. And then we find that the one who killed him, he was in the funeral. He's one of them. Killing of Muslims, men. See? You see how the, the media tried to deceive you and fool you? They didn't say four men killed in this town and police investigating. No. Four Muslims. We have to mention the word Muslim every few lines. Muslim. Muslim. He was ambushed. 25 years old Muslim. Muslim. Because only Muslims, they count for them. We don't count. Biden, he served the devil. He's a hypocrite. Why Biden don't go and say something about the attack on this guy, Rushdie? He's our guest. He's a very famous author. He have even a government title from the Queen of England, Sir. You know, Sir is not just a title. It's it's very high title. Why Biden don't stand with an author? Because he is a hypocrite. There's an election coming, and there's a small towns here and there. They have a big number of Muslims, so he won their vote. Already is losing ground everywhere. Hypocrites. So my friends, we are victorious and what we are doing is working great. This is why I say to you, download my videos. You see, my video is long. I try to make them short, I cannot. You know, I'm trying my best, but I cannot. Even when I say I want to go 15 minutes, it turned to be three hours. So this is what you can do. You can download the video, cut it pieces, depend on the topic we spoke about. There's many topics. Cut them and reload again. And guess what? You can activate advertising in your YouTube channel. Good for you. I'm not against you to make money from my videos, but don't claim to be me. Don't call your channel Christian Press. No problem. What about Dawa? What Dawa mean? There's nothing that's called Dawa. This is just a joke. You can download the video. You can make an account. You know, you can watch in YouTube how to make an account to get money from the account. They play advertising. There's many. They are getting a lot of money from having my videos in their channel. Good for them. You can do the same. This way, you can spread the truth. In the same time, you will get an income. Are you against having income? Whatever the income is, even if it's a hundred dollar. And then when you get really big number, then you can make good money. I'm not against you to do that. Good for you. But never claim to be me. Don't say this is a channel of Christian Prince. Never do that. I will flag you. 
I don't, I don't, I don't respect uh, scammers. And we fight them. Uh, thank you, Sulaima. Uh, any question, guys? It's getting late for me, and I did not eat since yesterday yet. Hmm. Not sure what I'm going to eat today. You know what? I'm going to ask the guy, his name is Isa, to send me seven wheels. You know the story in the Quran, right? The chapter of Al-Ma'idah, it's called the chapter of Al-Ma'idah because of the story where Jesus, he did feed thousands of people. But according to Muhammad, it was a disciple of, I mean, even this guy, he perverted every story. I mean, he is a scumbag. According to Muhammad, the disciple of Jesus, they said to Jesus, well, if you God is true God, why he don't give us food from the sky, huh? The disciple, they said that. And then Allah, brothers and sisters, he sent seven wheel in seven sandwiches, which is true. I mean, we Middle Eastern, we love sandwiches, especially if it's a wheel. So Allah seven send wheel, seven, seven wheels, and every wheel is in, every wheel is inside a loaf. Isn't it amazing? Uh, right, you can post this link later in the comment section. I mean, just you post the comment, people they can search it. Uh, do you know why women wear hijab? Yeah, well, women wear hijab because when when Islam became, you know, Islam is a religion of slavery. There is two reasons actually. There is a reason Muhammad uh, the, the the first time. The hijab was mentioned, it was uh, for the wives of Muhammad to cover their ass, not their head. You know, so that she was going out for bathroom and Omar, he used to spy at her and he looked at her ass. And even he said to her, we recognize you, Sauda. Uh, but the real reason, which is more important for the public use, not for the wives of Muhammad, it was because they want to recognize the free slave, free, free women from the slave. When a, when a woman, she walk in the street, if she is wearing a hijab, the Muslim, they will know that she is free. So they will not molest them or kidnap them. And this is even in the Quran. If we go in the Quran here, chapter 33, verse number 59, it says it clearly, so they will be recognized and they will not be hurt. So they will be recognized. Who will recognize them? The believers. Because Muslims are allowed to kidnap and to molest and you know, the slaves. You know, they can they can rape them easy. So make them do that so they will be recognized and they will not be hurt. So this was the main reason for this uh, garbage religion, hijab. It's just to differentiate between the free and the slave. 
and the Muslim they have way more slaves than the free. Actually, in a certain time in Iraq, the number of black African slaves was more than maybe 50 to 1. There is something in the history is called the revolution of a zinj. Zinj is the inward. You can go even, you know, in, in Prophet Wikipedia. Zinj Rebellion. It gives you the history, it gives you the time, it gives you what happened. So you will see that all of Iraq, all the white Arab, they don't work. They do nothing for work. They bring the poor African from Africa, they kidnap them, and they bring them into slavery and they have cities and those cities there's nothing there except black slaves and when they have revolution those african because they become so big in number they kill them all and if you go right now to iraq i think you will not find even as not even zero african what happened because simply they kill them all. This is the truth about Islam. And then the, the Muslim, they will go and they will say to the, uh, those, you know, ignorant and educated people, do you know what the white man did to you? Do you know what, you know, but the, the truth is nobody enslaved in history as much as, not even the Roman. See, the Roman, they enslave everybody, white, black, doesn't matter. The Muslims, they focus very much on the African slaves. And the market of slavery was Muslim market. What is Morocco? What is Libya? What is Egypt? And how those slaves came to, I mean, uh, Iraq is not even in the border. Iraq is not, not a country in the border of Africa. We are talking about a country is in the border of the Persian kingdom. Slave war in the medieval Iraq. They kill them all. By Adam Ali, even the one who's speaking about it is a Muslim, supposedly. And the funny is, you know, the Muslim when he speak against, he claim that he is against slavery. How many slaves your prophet have? How many? That is something, isn't it? All right, I think we had enough for today. I hope we had a good time together. And uh, maybe we should give you a, a, a day or two off. Maybe I should slow down, slow down because I don't see you guys are supporting really the videos. And, you know, we don't deserve really the low view after all what we do. Obviously, you guys are not doing a good job. If I'm a Muslim, it will sh they, they will share link everywhere. They will, you know, they, you know, the Muslim, they work really hard for their garbage cult. Most of people here, they don't want to deal anything. They don't want to post a link of such a garbage religion to be connected to them in their Facebook. I know it's, this is a disgusting religion, right? But you have a duty. I mean, it's not only me. All of you, you depend on me to come and clean the garbage.
Anyway, I want to say thank you for being here. May the Lord bless you. Until we see you soon again, uh, we pray to the Lord to open the eyes of those who they are blind and to show them the truth, and the truth will set them free. The Lord, the Messiah, He can open the eyes, but He will not open your eyes against your will. For the God of the Bible is a God of a free will. He said, knock at my door and I will open for you. So we encourage all the Muslims to knock at the door and the Lord, the Messiah, will open for you. Thank you, take care, and God bless. I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. The Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brother asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is after all why they crucified him. 